Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ren again, and I'm ready to get this playthrough started. So, uh, I'm gonna kind of jump straight into the action. One of the first things I want to explain uh, about my my overhaul that I've got installed, Skyrim Redone, is that uh, stamina is kind of tied to everything. It costs stamina to normal attack. It still costs stamina to power attack. But the other thing is that uh, you actually start to lose effectiveness when your stamina gets low. So I'm just going to show you this real quick. Oops. Player. So uh, as you can see my speed mode is down to 88% which means I'm moving 88% uh, of my normal speed. So my stamina recovers I'll get faster again. Um, you also lose out on attack damage, blocking efficiency. Um, I think there's a couple other things that are tied to it as well. So, uh, the other thing is I want to explain this debuff. There's a debuff uh, that you take whenever you whenever you get hit. I don't know if you guys are taking a close look at it, but if you look at the health bar when I hit somebody, you'll notice that they continue to bleed over time if they live. Whatever, there's more. Um, basically what this is, and I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, that's one. So, uh, every time that you get hit and it's unblocked, you get a debuff that reduces your armor and it, it makes you bleed over time as well. The amount that, that uh, your armor gets reduced depends on what type of weapon it was, how heavy it was, and what type of attack it was. Obviously, more heavy weapons and stronger attacks are going to give you a bigger debuff. With the idea behind that is uh, to implement kind of the concept of, of a combo. It, it makes a lot of sense that if you get hit maybe five times in quick succession you'll take more damage than if you got hit five times over a couple minutes. Um, so I actually really like that about this. And what you're seeing here is uh, called a war zone. I'm not sure why he's aiming this way. Um, I'm gonna save really quick because there is a pretty good chance I die here but this is a war zone it's one of my favorite mods that I've got installed right now and what it does is it adds literally thousands of NPCs I think he said 2,000 NPCs to Skyrim he was kind of upset that you know there's all this talk of war and you never see any actual war going on so uh, there's war zones between like storm cloaks and imperials sometimes you find bandits versus necromancers or skeletons or something like that shit I'm gonna see if I can't get out of here without dying like I said, she is going to be using our, some restoration magic. Please don't die. Ah, nice. I might get out of there. I want the show back. I might as well high key this. Shit. Where am I getting shot from? Nice. Get out of there. And while I'm at it, I should uh, high key this healing spell because I'm probably going to need it a lot. I'll high key last stand as well. So, uh, this screen that you're looking at is really cool. It's, it's called Categorize Favorites Menu. Um, and as you can see, it basically takes your favorites and it sorts them into categories. And you can have a bunch of them, like, literally a bunch you can actually fill the screen and, and have like a scroll bar within this list um, but yeah it's it's really really useful and I've got another uh, mod that adds hotkeys so that uh, you know I can switch between the two pretty easily I don't want to get hit by a crossbow again so those things penetrate armor Um, so I need to hotkey this shield. 
Also, I can I can hot key plenty of uh plenty of items. I've got almost unlimited hot keys. I'll probably show you that um a little bit later. The hot key mod. That yeah, doesn't look like a good idea. I don't know. Maybe we just lose this one. It seems like all my allies died. Yeah, I'm not engaging them. Skip that. So, yeah, that's basically a war zone. They're they're so much fun. It they're not a really good idea to jump into at level one because you know it's like a bunch of enemies versus you pretty often, and it's really hard to survive. Um, looks like we've got some imperial allies up here. I kind of wish I could tell them to go down there and help. But it's not a big deal. So uh, I don't know. But I think I got the quest. No, it seems like I don't have the quest somehow. Ah, right, you know what? I know what I'll do. I'm gonna go and explore the other map, Moonpath to Elsewhere. Moonpath to Elsewhere is a it's a really big quest mod. I think this is the right way. Lone Path to Elsewhere is a is a quest mod that adds uh it adds a, a huge world no that's not the right way. It adds a, a lot of space and uh and a bunch of quests to go along with it. I think it should be a lot of fun. I honestly haven't played it so it's gonna be unfortunate if the game crashes on me while I'm in there because I don't know how stable it is, but from what I've heard it's pretty good and not a lot of people are are having problems with it. <laughs> that fox. Here's the farm. I just want to get this marked on my uh on my map. Did I find it already? All right, good. So I'm going to pay the uh the carriage to take me to Falkreath because that's where the quest starts. I do know that much about it already. I forgot to mention there's war zones scattered all over Skyrim. There's I don't even know how many there are, maybe a hundred or so. So it vanilla game was kinda boring, you know, just walking around through the routes because you wouldn't really find any action, but no, it's it's hard to not find somebody to fight uh on your way anywhere. And now you get exposure to another mod, uh the realistic lighting overhaul and clim climates of Tamriel. Tamriel. Um both of these mods change the way the exteriors look quite a bit as you can tell it's really really dark it's nearly impossible to see where you're going without uh without a torch um so i'm trying to find an end here we are without like a torch or a lantern but i've got another mod that adds uh it adds a lantern that you can carry on your hip actually it's really really neat because then you don't have to tie up a hand holding a torch that's kind of annoying Especially for a two-handed character. Is that? No. Where is the person? Are you? Okay, so her. Man, I'm having a hard time hearing her. I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I'm supposed to pack my gear on the carriage. Which I guess just means go there. Oh, nice, neat. Just in case the game crashes, it's always a good idea to save. It's a good idea to save if it doesn't crash, just in case something happens that you don't want. And let's see what this place looks like. Heard so many good things about this mod. Oh wow. Thing looks like it belongs on Star Wars. Okay. That's kind of vague. Oops. Oh yeah, I could use the exercise. Just send me alone. Some wolves. Wow, that thing is actually kind of strong. I'm so tired. My damage is gone. You can finish that off. I'm going to utilize my quick save feature. And it looks like there are people there, so I want to be careful. Make sure I'm ready just in case they're hostile. Hey, you there. Yeah, they are hostile. Oh my god, they look so strong. Take advantage of my level up. Man, I don't know what I would do without this healing. It looks like I might still just die. There's a lot of them, and that one guy looked pretty strong. But I'm going to take a quick second to explain uh, a few of these perks. The uh, the light armor and, and, I mean, light weapon and heavy weapon, what used to be one-handed, two-handed, these have been completely reworked. Actually, everything's been reworked, but these are the ones I'm going to use now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go light weaponry. Uh, neat person, light armor. Increase my armor rating. Probably want that one too. And uh, blocking is actually really good on this game. It's kind of essential for a warrior character. I'm gonna see if I can't lead these guys back to camp and get some help from my friends. Because there's no way I'm taking them on by myself. Doesn't look like they want to come this way at all. Come on, guys, I've got a trap for you. Are they unable to go past there? That's kind of lame. <laughs> I guess I'll exploit this. There's no way I'm beating them any other, any other way. Hey, it looks like he crossed. Don't kill me. Damn. And here I was thinking you guys couldn't go any further. Um, I'm not sure if I can defeat these guys, actually, which is kind of sad. Looking for a way back. I hope there is one. That would kind of suck. But all I have to do is just reload since I made the save before here. Ok, 
can you take me back? It doesn't look like it. I don't see any signs of a way back. I'll give it one more try. See if I can't take down at least one, or maybe maybe I can go around or something. Maybe I can sneak. Get a sneak attack on one of these guys. I really wish I had a bow. I don't yet. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to sneak on them. Alright, let's give this a shot. Damn it. You're gonna trick me again. Yeah, you made it through. Come on this way. Level up so I don't die. Health is important. Yeah. Honestly, I might want to just go with raw damage and raw armor this time. I'm getting four perk points from a mod called, uh, oh, he went back? Come this way. I'm getting more perk points from, uh, yes, you have activated my trap card. Why is he so strong? Let's take this guy out. I'm mad they sent me alone to face this group of bandits. They're actually pretty freaking tough. God, stop taking those. Ah, uh, Fist, <laughs> you're gonna get killed so quick. Stagger. Alright, great. Took them out. Wait a minute, did, did one of our guys die? Where's the other one? Oh, okay. You're over there. Alright, I'm hoping these guys have some good gear because I could really use it. They're way higher level than I am. That is good enough for now. Ah oh, man, I love this thing. Looks so good. That actually looks pretty strong, surprisingly. Full body armor, maybe that's better. Potions, I could use that. Alright, I haven't learned how to shout yet. Here's where uh, Sky, UI, Sky UI comes in handy, being able to sort these by, by armor really quickly can get better boots on I think I'm still wearing all the best stuff that I have sort these by damage so iron mace is highest damage but they swing slower so I don't know it looks like the short sword is still probably my best DPS weapon I'll go ahead and favor the bow and let us make a new save because I don't want to be stuck here if all the enemies are going to be like that oh yeah oh there's a couple more come here 
Okay, you can stand there and I'll just pick you off. Stagger time. If you notice while I'm holding down the, the attack button, I'm losing stamina still. So you can't just sit there and draw your bow all day. Black and perks are so good on this game. Black and was so useless in vanilla. It's kind of sad. See how I do in combat. Take this combo. Yeah, he's bleeding out. Oh, that was it. Nice. This looks like a nice sword. want to see if they've got some some loot around here that's pretty good that's pretty good that is incredible to see at level three I probably won't be able to cast it actually I won't cast it this character is not going to do destruction all right so I'll go back and tell her the blockade is gone or they're handled See where we go next. Quick save. So we need what? I didn't hear. Her. I'll get in the carriage. Get on my chopper. Oh wow, this place looks incredible. Seems this bridge has collapsed. You are very useful, my friend. We will wait here and offer to little time. We will speak with the boys back and forth in five sweet minutes. Okay, nice of you to send me off alone again. Kind of like a rhino. I can turn my compass on and off. See where I need to go. I don't like having it on all the time because it usually just looks kind of in the way. So so I have to find a way around this bridge. Wow, oh, they even have sound effects for this place. That doesn't look like a way around. What is that? 
Uh, it's so annoying. I'm going to turn this off really quick. In the mod configuration menu, I can actually uh, get rid of the sneak crosshair and enemy health. That's getting kind of annoying. I don't like to see how strong my enemies are. Kind of breaks the, the immersion for me. Luckily, I can change it. I'm going to see if I can take a couple shots at them. I have no idea how strong those things are. I can't can barely see them. Where'd you go? They're all just running around that corner. Oh well. Uh, ah, the short sphere might be useful here. They do reduce damage against armored enemies. It's basically uh, it swings like a sword, but it's uh, it's got more reach because it's longer, and uh, it's actually really good against unarmored enemies. Wow, I'm not sure if that's them making the noise. Let me look around. Yeah, those things sound pretty scary for their size. Oh, they're pretty weak though. <laughs> I think they like no damage. I don't even know if I should still block. Is he dead? Now, what is this? Zahelis? They're actually kind of fast. Oh no, I'm just really slow right now. Low stamina. Ah shit, I might die. Heal. Oh wow, that healed me to four. Two down, one to go. They have teeth too. That's nice. And this other one's kind of scared, I guess. It's just hanging out in the corner. I don't know. It looks like his AI might be a little bad. Whatever. I'm fine with killing you if you're fine with standing there. They, actually, they do have a lot of health though. I think maybe this whole area is just kind of over, over leveled for me. <clears throat> kind of want to take some stamina. My first three levels, uh, levels two, three, and four, I actually get 20 points in whatever stat I put it in instead of 10 and then after that it levels normally nice I need that and no new perks there nothing new there I just put the last one in uh, restoration so I can cast my healing spell for half magicka I try to explain these perks as I as I pick them up. There's a lot of possibilities, and especially for uh, each different weapon type has its own kind of special uh, properties, and the perks are different as well.
a little bit more. <clears throat> Got pretty nice loot. You can sell that later on. Alright, now I'll go towards the map marker. <laughs> Salmon actually jumped that high in the air. I'm not going to try and catch any though. Want a quick save? That looks like a spider of some sort. Maybe just a regular frostbite spider. Uh, those don't look like normal frostbite spiders. Wow! Uh, that stuff is potent. I'm gonna try and get the draft on him. Uh, it looks like he might have seen me though. Yeah, I didn't get the sneak attack. I didn't mention it before, um, but you actually lose quite a bit of damage if you don't draw the bow all the way back. I think it's like that in vanilla too, but it's it's suggested to be more important. Oh, I wasn't sneaking to begin with. <laughs> no wonder I didn't get a sneak attack. Man, these things must have a lot of health. I'm doing like a good 31 damage per hit. Yeah, I think this area is just completely over leveled. I might have to cut this short and uh, spend some time leveling up and then come back. Man, I'm gonna. Oh, finally. I don't know where that other one went. I'm gonna wait for my stamina to come back up though before I proceed. Might as well quick save. Actually, try sneak attacking this time. Okay, the poison doesn't look like it hurts that bad. It's just the attacks. Oh shoot, there's more. Got it. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna um I'm gonna cut it short now. I think the video's long enough by now. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to uh, level up. You'll probably see me at a couple levels higher in the next video. Because I'm not going to do like every single second of my journey. Just do a, a couple of highlights. So uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.